Yeah, do you think there's going to be, do you think it's about extension? What do you, you know, could you, I mean, of course we don't know for certain at this time, but what can be, in your opinion, that, that out of the box breakthrough that, that is being talked about as far as CPAC is concerned? I think uh, we should expect uh, a number of uh, agreements that were pending. Okay. And the most importantly is the ML1 as far as Pakistan is concerned, mm. because we need to have uh, decent speed railway uh, infrastructure between Karachi to Peshawar that can further be expanded uh, in future through mm -hmm. Afghanistan to Central Asia and places. That will speed up uh, the trade and uh, that will ultimately then uh, can be linked to Gavadar also um, so that uh, the CPAC, the spread of CPAC gets completed. So um, that, that I am very keen to look at that it is signed and it gets off the ground now uh, because it's already delayed a lot. And then the impression that uh, the adversaries create that uh, China is investing for its own reasons and Pakistan in the long run will get into debt trap etc. I think that needs to be shed off and uh, this narrative must be countered uh, by us in Pakistan, hmm. it's the responsibility of the media and academia both hmm. Hmm. that we counter this narrative because uh, this is uh, in our benefit as well. And the Chinese uh, slogan, as, as we know of President Xi since 2013, has been together we rise, together we march. We have a shared vision, productive engagement, cooperative engagement. Um, now these jargons are. Um, alien to the US led western world who are who would only talk of power security and uh, punishment denial compliance coercion this, so this is a war between two ideological concepts one from sunzu that war is not an option it is to be used as a last resort hmm. And the other is Machiavellian concept that power and security, that you resolve your differences through power. So this, this context is now getting into uh, perhaps in its uh, culminative phase uh, where China has quietly, has quietly risen in the last 20 years when uh, the US was busy in unnecessary wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. And now US perhaps suddenly finds Hmm. Now US suddenly finds hmm. that uh, by 2028 China would be the largest economy and the political influence that China has gained the hmm. because of uh, the BRI in Africa, in South America, in Europe, in Asia is immense and now the, perhaps the successive US administrations uh, fail to visualize uh, that at one stage it will be difficult for them to, to counter them. To counter China.